Welcome back to my dark corner of this sick world. Yeah, it reminds me of my wife when she's mad. We're looking at Fire Maidens from Outer Space, a British B-movie that really captures the realities of space travel. Ladies and gentlemen, the interplanetary ship has acknowledged our message. Utter tedium. You got the wire? Dropped it. For the first 20 minutes, that's as dramatic as it gets. Man, you're not kidding. The destination of what does appear to be a cut-out picture of a Nazi V2 rocket is the 13th moon of Jupiter, which actually wasn't discovered for another 13 years, so I give the film points for that. According to our calculations, it's hidden behind those fog clouds. Which it promptly loses for the presence of fog in space and the crew's complete lack of reaction when they are contacted by the moon. You are under our space control. Make space you turn where possible. Stop kidding them. From the air, the landscape looks pretty alien. From the ground, however... Well, that's clearly the 13th moon of Jupiter, and in no way Hertfordshire. Now, the vegetation's similar to that on our planet. And if you thought the aliens speaking English was strange... Hey! It's Morse code. And when we meet the aliens themselves, they're living in a set from Robin Hood. And wearing costumes from Carry On Cleo. At this point, it's actually strange that nothing is strange. There's a logical explanation for each occurrence, right? And I can't wait to hear it. Welcome to New Atlantis. That entirely explains them speaking English and using Morse code. But... I would appreciate some clarification on how they got here. When the continent sank beneath the sea on Earth, my ancestors came to this planet. Would you care to expand on that? A thousand questions are on your lips, yet to answer one would take many days and nights. Yes, there's so much to explain that we haven't time to explain anything is the last refuge of the bone idle screenwriter. What the answer to all this is, I don't know. The men are captured, but escape isn't too difficult from a cell that relies on the inmates never moving the chair. And getting their weapons back is equally easy. Look. We're lucky to find these. You are a bit, aren't you? Yeah, you hit the nail right on the head. We also get early product placement. Always Coca-Cola. A monster that's as threatening as my four-year-old niece pretending to be the Gruffalo. <laughs> Obviously, this is just crap, but that's because it's not concerned with character or plot. Its main preoccupation is the same as that of its astronauts. Woman! You can say that again, with all the necessary ingredients. Presumably, they're striking out on Earth. I wonder if the beings on Jupiter's satellite will look anything like her. So they travel 365 million miles just to get laid. Beautiful, gorgeous. A species of fauna that demands the most extensive research program. Which at times becomes wildly uncomfortable. Hey, what if she's the only one? In that case, you're last in line. I'm not going to think about that, or about the issues of the sole surviving Atlantean male. She was my mother's mother. Is it weird I have a semi-nude picture of my nan on the wall? Maybe. Our thanks to the Aphrodite, goddess and queen of all Atlantis. It was your mother's mother a minute ago. These are my other daughters, gentlemen. This is another of those films in which an alien race carelessly runs out of men. Girls! And Earth men, after initial enthusiasm, show them who's boss. Oh, no. Once was enough, sister. I'm not a machine. Okay, beat it. Vamoose, skedaddle. The Atlantean women, meanwhile, have a practically schizophrenic attitude to sex. We hope you like it. One minute capturing the men. Yes, get all the men. They get the men. Get get the men. men. And the next. He promised his husband. Unusually for this genre, the film starts with the planet controlled by the last surviving man. Bring food and drink for our guests. But by the end, the women have taken over. You are our new ruler. Hail to Hestia, Queen of Atlantis. Hail to Hestia, Queen Empowering, yes. Hey, please, girls, one at a time. Not really, no. Mission completed. Subtle. 
how in the world did the people of Atlantis get to the 13th moon of Jupiter? Stick your suggestions in the comments below after you've subscribed, of course. How do I get out of here?